is now in the case of a serial killer. We're hoping to hear from the police right there. The total right number there. of bodies Three. recovered at this time is at least seven. More victims and a major revelation. Investigators believe this is the work of a serial killer. This, of course, is taking place. It's a case that really has all the makings of a murder mystery. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Denise DeCenzo. I'm Dennis House. Seven people murdered and dumped near the popular West Farm shopping area. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller is live in New Britain with today's developments. Courtney? And that's right. Police do believe those seven people were dumped in that wooded area. They are working to figure out who these other three people are. But today they release a fourth person's name and we're learning this woman would have celebrated her birthday today. Now we talked to the family of yet another victim who was identified back in 2007. Here's what they had to say. Appreciative that they never gave up. The family of Mary Jane Menard came to hear the newest information in a serial murder investigation dating back to 2003. Their family member went missing that year and her remains were found in 2007. It's a sad thing to find out there's more families involved and probably thousands of people that are touched by them. It just stem stimulates everything right back then. Today we're learning there is another break in the cold case. A fourth victim's name was released today. Melanie Ruth Camellini would have been 42 years old today. Her remains were also found in this wooded area, which is right near the West Farms Mall. The 15 acre area has been the focus of this investigation for eight years. The remains of these women were found in 2007. 40 year old Mary Jane Menard, 53 year old Diane Cusack and 23 year old Jovelyn Martinez. Police say they found the remains of at least seven people who were found in an area of one acre about three feet down. They tell us some high-end police dog training led them to find more remains. The FBI's dog in this case is specifically trained just to look and find uh, cadavers. That is going to be a tool that's going to perform better. And police tell us they worked for a year to get this dog from Virginia here to Connecticut. Now, they also say they do have a suspect. They're not releasing any names, but they say it's not possible for the suspect to harm anyone, and the public is not in any danger. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom from New Britain. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.